Controlling the ball is one of the most important floorball skills. The player controlling the ball, without being taken on by an opponent, does not need to focus on the ball and can assess the play situation. He provides his teammates time to find space and provide an option for playing. He determines the game tempo and can bring his teammates into play by passing them the ball. In play, the opponents can attack from many angles, narrowing the playing space. Under pressure from opponents, it's necessary to have a variety of dribbling techniques to keep the ball. One-handed or two-handed ball carrying depends on the play situation. The one-handed grip is suitable to advance the ball in a fast break situation. The two-handed grip is used close to the body to protect the ball, carry the ball, pass or shoot. The best technique to retain possession of the ball is to keep your body between the ball and your opponent. The body is always found between the opponent and the ball. It's necessary to have good footwork and a lower center of gravity. To win a one-on-one -on -one situation, the opponent is often deceived with a feint. Good ball handling, sufficient distance from the opponent, and quick tempo or directional changes make the feint possible. With the body balk, the player attempts to give the opponent a false cue of his movement in order to get past him. quick surprising change of direction brings about the desired effect. The stick is pointed to a certain direction to give the opponent a false cue in order to trick him into an inappropriate decision. Stick feints are possible on the forehand or backhand side. The ball is carried past the opponent. One possibility is to pass the ball between the opponent's legs. To surprise an opponent, a sudden change of direction is essential. By a sudden change of direction, the ball carrier gains a slight advantage over his opponent, which he can take benefit of. This feint can also be done in motion. With passing and shooting feints, the ball carrier displays another possible action. With eye contact and body positioning to a teammate, a pass is signaled, but the player decides to carry the ball past his opponent. With a backswing, a shot is feinted. If the opponent reacts to it, 
the player can carry the ball past him. defender with a parallel position, face to face, towards the attacker can easily be passed. If he stands side on, he can react quicker to the opponent's movements. The defender always tries to block the defensive line, which means that he constantly tries to stay between the ball and his own goal in order to prevent a direct shot at goal. The defender tries to take control over the opponent's offensive player by actively shepherding him. The defender picks up the movement of the offensive player and slows him down, driving him into an unfavorable position. He then attempts to win the ball. Attacking players should be blocked from entering the prime positions in the slot and forced into less favorable areas. Fast passes open gaps in the opponent's defense and create greater scoring opportunities. For this, precise passing is required. A lateral body position with slightly bended knees help to play a dragged pass precisely. When receiving, the ball is taken in front of the body. Then the pace of the ball is absorbed with flexible hands. When passing the ball, the arms and hands follow through. For a direct pass, the ball is not trapped. It's directly played on. The ball is played closer to the body. Backhand passes are also used. The movement is identical to the forehand pass. The game situation determines the type and strength of the pass. The longer the distance between the players, the harder the ball must be played. To receive high passes, there are a variety of techniques, and the use of the stick or the body, without arms, hands and head, are brought in to help. The ball is slowed down with the blade prior to making contact with the floor. The ball is being controlled at the moment of floor contact. By covering the ball with the blade, the rebound is impeded. Raised passes can also be stopped with legs or feet. Higher passes will be stopped by the body. Let the ball drop off the upper body to the side to take immediate control. Many situations require a quick ball collection. In a short time, substantial space could be gained. If there's a defender close by, the ball is collected one-handed. The one-handed ball collection gives greater reach and makes getting away easier.
certain situations in a game do not allow flat passes. Lift the ball just high enough that your teammate can easily and safely take control of the ball. The pass should only be played high enough that a teammate can receive it without any difficulties. Fast breaks and wide transitions can be played using a lifted pass. The high passes, depending on the game situation, can be dragged or driven. An excellent passing game and sound ball tempo are essential for successful team play. With precise passes, goal opportunities can be manufactured in situations where the other players are outnumbered. A flexible body position and quick footwork are essential requirements to play quick and precise angled relay passes. Take advantage of the sideboards to pass to a teammate. The ball comes off the board at about the same angle as it's passed against it. To gain enough time to receive the ball, the player faints quickly and runs off his opponent. A teammate who is in the defended zone and in a player's shade, the pass shadow, should not receive the ball and should not be brought into play. With a long wrist shot, the ball is accelerated in contact with the blade. With a drive shot, the ball is accelerated with a single contact. The angle of the blade to the floor determines the flight angle of the ball. If the blade is at a right angle to the floor, the ball will travel along the floor. With an open blade, the ball will be lifted. The position of the stick blade is determined by one's distance to the ball and one's body position. If the center part of the body is placed over the back foot, the distance to the ball is greater. If the body's center of gravity is placed over the front foot, the blade is positioned at approximately a right angle. Different game situations require the use of different shots. With a drag shot, the power is transferred forwards through the drag phase. The ball is released level with the front foot. The blade is always in contact with the ball. Curved drag shot can also be done in one movement. With the curved drag shot, during the drag phase, the ball is screened from the opponent.
An opponent's block can be bypassed with a varied form of drag phase. A wrist shot has a very short backswing. The release of the ball takes place somewhere near the front foot. A wrist shot is very precise and requires little space. Ball delivery requires little time and space and can be played even under pressure from the opponent. With the drive shot, the ball will be struck with a single contact. As a variation, the blade remains on the floor during the whole backswing. In a low body position, the ball is hit level with the front foot. A bouncing ball can be hit in the air. A short backswing helps to hit the ball precisely. The blade touches the ground just before ball contact. The ball is contacted behind the front foot. Slap shots tend to be very hard. They're used primarily to score from a distance. It requires lots of space and time. Most often a slap shot is used following a straight pass back to a teammate. Backhand shot can be driven or dragged. The grip used is closed. A quick backhand shot can be used to surprise and create scoring opportunities. When a player has his back to the goal, the blade contacts the ball from above. Requirements of a goalie are very diverse. He needs to react quickly and has to adapt fast to changing game situations. The basic position of the floorball goalie covers as much of the goal mouth as possible. It should be comfortable and flexible. Generally, all the goalie's actions start from that basic position. The upper body is leaning slightly forwards. The goalie is generally not on his feet in order to be able to use his legs to block the ball. In an optimal blocking position, the goalie concentrates on the ball, not on the player. Even when the ball goes behind the goal, the goalkeeper maintains his frontal position so that he can react quickly to any shot from the slot. If the goalie remains on the goal line, the scorer finds a lot of uncovered goal area.
However, if the goalkeeper moves forwards to the ball, he can almost cover the whole goal mouth. First, the goalie gets in line with the ball, and then he moves forwards, reducing the scoring angle. By moving laterally, the goalkeeper changes his basic position. He orientates himself after the ball. Moving without using the hands enables the goalie to maintain the optimal defensive position in all situations.